Mina-san, Okarina Sai. Today, a very shy and adorable young lady. She's also, like, super sweet. Maria Sashide, born September 20th, 1998, in Saitama. Her current agency is with Line. Maria's mother enjoyed anime, which influenced her and naturally led her to her dream to become an actress. She initially wanted to act in the theater, but after she was told that her voice had changed, she decided to go to voice acting instead. After graduating from ANG Academy in 2016, she joined her current agency of April in the same year. She had her first role, an unnamed character in a series called Scorching Ping Pong Girls. She was also in a few video games as you can see here. I'm really only familiar with Chain Chronicle. 2017, she was in a movie called Zunda Horizon, voicing Oedo Chonko, and in other four video games. I've never heard of any of these, so I'm going to assume they are mostly mobile games. 2018 was her big year. She fully began her role as Emma Verde in Love Live Nijigasaki School Idol Club, joining the live action Nijigasaki and their subunit Quartz. 2019, she began to voice Hana Shirosaki in Wataten and Angel Flew Down to Me, alongside fellow Niji member Akari Kito, the leads all being seiyuu in a unit called Wataten 5. In 2020, the Nijigasaki anime began to air, and she reprised her role as Emma. As for a new series, she voiced Mai Inose in Asteroid in Love, Eve Kagayaki in Kira Topi-chan, the anime and video game, and later performing with them in live action. And she had the very minor role of Kazuma, Maho's younger brother in D4DJ. She was in two more games though, Dead or Alive Extreme Venus Vacation as Tsukishi, and a Duel Masters Play as Coco Lupico. In 2021, she was in a Rapunzel stage play, so it seems that she got to pursue theater in some way. This year of 2022, she was Futaba in Aharan-san, and Runa in Beast Tamer. While that's actually already it for her voice acting career, she doesn't have too many roles. Love Live is her main focus, and the Watchaten stuff as well. She doesn't have anything lined up for next year, not yet at least, but here's hoping. Some other things to mention though are that she's part of that cursed Onsen Masune that I've mentioned a few times in other videos, her character being Akaro Yuda, and she voiced Nina Nijikawa in a VR Idol Stars project. Some other video games worth mentioning are Magia Record, Show by Rock, Project Sakai, and Azure Lane, though it seems her characters were not in the anime versions of any of these franchises. Concerts would include the usual Niji events, being at older lives and with them at various events over the years like Animax, Anisama, and very recently at the Bandai Namco Fest. Aside from this, she's been at a couple Magia Record events, many Wataten events, and quite a few Pichan events as well. So let's move on to the fun facts. She's 163 centimeters or 5 foot 4, making her the tallest Niji member. Well, alongside might be. They are the same height. She has herself a Twitter and an Instagram, as well as a photography program. I assume on Nico Nico. She actually has a big passion for photography in general and posts about it on her Insta. Her skills include jazz dance, tap dance, and playing piano. She often plays original songs that her older sister wrote. She is known for always having an animal somewhere on her outfit. Though she has said that ever since Akarin praised her for wearing more mature outfits, she has been cutting back on the animal attire. She also has the habit of using proper honorifics when speaking with Seiyu older than her, even within the Nijigasaki group. Which is basically everyone except for Tomari Kusunogi, who is the only one that is younger than her, so she is the only one Maria is 100% casual around. Actually, with the recent news of Tomori leaving Niji, Maria now might become the youngest member of the group. As a child, Sashide's favorite anime were Soul Eater, Gurren Lagann, and Full Metal Alchemist. Amazing choices, those were some of my first anime when I started watching. She also likes the idol groups Nogizaka 46, Keiakizaki 46, and Hello Project. She uh, likes to speak English. <laughs> She has had the nickname of Chunrun ever since middle school, but her classmates also used to call her Neko. She's not entirely sure why, but she thinks it has to do with her love for cats and always imitating them. She does love cats, by the way, and she has quite a few. All of them are named after Ghibli characters. Those being Haku, Gigi, Pazu, Totoro, and Howl. Oh, and as I kind of glossed over earlier, she has an older sister. She also holds a pen in a very different way than most people, with the tip of the pen being in between her middle and ring finger, rather than the normal index and middle fingers. Chiami Tanaka has said that it's very rare to see Chunrun drinking alcohol and Maria said that she hasn't ever really drank before either, which is actually very surprising to me since Niji is known to have one or more alcohol lovers, Chemi being one of them. Sticking with Chemi, her and Chunrun are the two shyest members of Nijigasaki and maybe even Love Live as a whole, both saying it took them around two or three years to become fully comfortable with everyone in the group. Finally, fellow Nijigaku member Natsumi Murakami says that Chunrun resembles the character Notame from the series Notame Cantable. Also, shoutouts to the time that they thumb wrestled. That was awesome. And with that, we have reached the ending. In my opinion, Maria might be the most underrated of the original Niji girls. She does have some good roles outside of Love Live, however. Just gotta wait and see if she lands a big one in a more mainstream show sometime.
or maybe even just join a group like Not Jerry did. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one. A very bodacious Russian enthusiast. Well, like their culture and language, not the dumb actions that the people in charge do. But she's also very loud and crazy. I look forward to seeing you there.